in today's video i just want to bring to your attention some new changes that are coming into the uh, immigration rules for international students so it looks like a lot of things are happening and things are beginning to change especially with regards to um, the rules and regulations governing international students in canada and from the look of things it looks like things are going to get much worse as we move into 2024 because the new immigration minister, Mark Miller, has announced and hinted that he's going to make a lot of changes to international study permits. So if you are looking at coming to Canada from January 2024, then you need to update yourself with some of these changes so that whether you are applying for a school or whether you are applying for your visa, you know these changes, then you can prepare adequately, right? So this is not to scare you or this is not to create the impression that you cannot come to Canada to study anymore. You can come but it is important that you are aware of some of these new rules so that when you are applying for a school, you take all of that into consideration. Again, when you are applying for your visa, you take that also into consideration and then you can prepare adequately so that the rules that will restrict you, you are able to provide documentations and resources that will give you an upper hand over those rules and regulations, right? So hello people welcome back to my channel on this channel we talk about um relocating and moving to canada as uh as a student right so if you are interested in coming to canada as an international student then this is the channel that you should be subscribing to if you haven't subscribed to this channel kindly please do subscribe to the channel so that anytime I come here to share my experience with you, you will get to know about it. So it's important to know that whatever information I put um, on this channel is born out of my own experience and also out of uh, the research that I do with regards to studying in Canada. So I wish to put out this disclaimer that I am not an immigration officer or an immigration consultant. Let's go straight into the video and listen to Mark Miller, the Immigration Minister for Canada, as he tells out, as he tells us what he intends to do come 2024. It would be a mistake to blame international students for the housing crisis, but it'd also be a mistake to invite them to come to Canada with no support including how to put a roof over their heads. It's why we expect learning institutions uh, to only accept a number of students that they're able to provide for, able to house or assist in finding off-campus housing. In welcoming international students, we have a responsibility to make sure that students are supported when they come to our country. We also want to ensure that international students don't become victims of unscrupulous individuals who offer them inadequate living conditions sometimes even at inflated prices. Ahead of September 2024, we are prepared to take necessary measures, including significantly limiting visas to ensure that designated learning institutions provide adequate and sufficient student supports as part of the academic experience. In order to achieve this result, it is imperative that we work together with provincial and territorial governments, learning institutions and other education stakeholders so we can ensure international students are set up for success in Canada. So starting in January on January 1st of next year in 2024, the financial requirement for study permits will be raised to reflect the current cost of living and as such a single applicant will need to show that they have $20,000 20,635 in funds to support themselves in Canada moving up from $10,000 as I mentioned in French. Moving to a more accurate cost of living level that helps international students arrive with necessary resources to live and study in Canada. Future increases will be tied to the low income cutoff that Statistics Canada publishes every year, similar to other immigration programs. This cutoff conveys the income below which an individual may be in strained circumstances as they have to spend a greater than average proportion of their income on necessities. Recognizing that students already have to show that they can cover their tuition as well as uh, their travel costs or cost of living threshold is set at 75% of the low income cutoff rather than 100% and puts us on par with our competitor countries. 
if you've been able to watch the video up to this time thank you so much for staying glued and thank you for watching so like you heard from january 2024 the living expenses which was ten thousand canadian dollars is now going to change and interestingly the addition is like more than 100 percent of the demand which means that if you are planning to come to Canada as an international student, you now you don't just need to prove an amount of ten thousand Canadian dollars. Now you have to prove an amount of twenty thousand six hundred and thirty-five Canadian dollars for your living expenses. In addition to the twenty thousand six hundred and something Canadian dollars, you also need to prove that you have available your first year tuition fee. So you just have to add your first year tuition fee to the 20,006 something Canadian dollars. You also need to prove your travel expenses and all of that. So in summary, this means that the, the financial requirements for international students has now tripled beginning from January 1st, 2024 has now tripled than what it used to be. So if you are planning to put in an application from next year, then you need to look at how best you are going to be able to prove this amount of money in order to secure your study permit. Again, the minister has also hinted that from next year, Canada is going to reduce the number of visa applications that it issues out to students significantly. I'm more concerned about the way he said significantly, which means that they are going to cut down on the number of visas that they issue out to international students. And I think that as part of the measures to cut down the number of visas they issue out to international students is the raising of the requirement of the, the, the financial requirement for international students, which means that if you are not able to raise or to prove that high amount of money, then you don't get to secure your visa. Now, this is not to scare you, but to make you aware of what you are up to or what you should be, what is expected of you when you are putting in your applications. Again, they are going to make sure that colleges and universities only offer admissions to students that they can provide accommodation and other means of support for. What this means is that now schools are also going to be restricted on the number of admissions that they offer to international students. That is if the school is not able to prove that they have the accommodation and the residential resources to provide accommodation for the international students that they are bringing in. Which also goes to mean that if you are putting in your application, you need to have a strong application such that with a limited number of students that Canadian colleges and universities will be issuing out admission letters for, you are going to be part of that few people that they are going to select. So in all of this, I think that um, enough preparation is, is needed. Enough preparation is needed. If your dream is to come to Canada, then you need to prepare against all of these odds such that the few number of people they intend to issue visas out to, you can be one of those few people. Just believe in yourself that you are going to be part of those few people. And that is attainable if you prepare adequately for both your school applications and your visa applications.